very important concern all over the globe. As we talk a lot about, uh, let's say, disruptive technologies, we talk about uh, what's called as Industry 4.0, you know, of which uh, AI and ML and IoT, 3D print. इस साल का हम टारगेट रखें कि पोस्ट सर्विस लॉस हमारा सिर्फ 10 परसेंट कम हो जाए जो भी हमारा उसमें सिर्फ 10 परसेंट कमी कर पाए तो मेरा ये मानना है कम से कम हम 50 मिलियन लोगों को और खाना दे सकते हैं एप्पल फोमेस इन केस ऑफ द एप्पल फोमेस एप्पल फोमेस कैन सर्व एज अ वेरी गुड सोर्स ऑफ द डाइटरी फाइबर दैट दैट ऑन 16th of October every year we celebrate World Food Day to appreciate the amazing food we get to eat, but also to tackle world hunger. Celebration of food and the availability of it is there, along with the fight against hunger. Coming from a place where we face issues such as internet shutdown, lockdown, curfew, this generation has faced all of it, but hunger. The issue in Kashmir is actually how to tackle food wastage. This year is to raise the awareness and provide support to end world hunger and to grow, nourish and sustain together. FAO is celebrating World Food Day with the theme, Our Actions Are Our Future. Food waste has become a significant issue around the world, but nowhere so than in India. According to United Nations, an estimated 931 million tons of food was globally wasted in 2019, of which household items in India amount to 68.7 million tons a year. One of the main reasons we have so much of waste throughout in the world is that we don't value our food properly. We don't consider all of the resources consumed in the production and the distribution processes which are embedded in that waste. The United Nations report emphasizes that food waste has substandard environmental, social and economical impact. At a time when climatic activity is still lagging, 8-10% to 10 of global greenhouse gases emissions are associated with food that is not consumed when losses before consumer level is taken into account. In India, household food waste is 50 kg per capita per year. That is 68.7 million tons a year. Comparing it with a developed nation like USA, where household food waste estimation is 59 kg per capita per year, that is 19.3 million tons a year. While for China, these estimations are 64 kg per capita per year, that is 91.6 million tons a year. If we want to get serious about tackling climatic changes, nature and biodiversity loss, and in controlling pollution and waste, businesses, government and citizens around the world have to do their part to reduce the food waste. So food waste is responsible for 6% of total greenhouse gas emission impacting climate change. So what, will we, what should we do, what should be your approach, our approach to fight this problem? So I congratulate the Department of Food Science and Technology for celebrating the World Food Day on 16th of October. I think uh, it is very important for us because uh, food security recently has emerged as a very important concern all over the globe. And together with the climate change, if you look at the climate change impacts on the food security or water security and energy security, they are very paramount. So uh, I feel that uh, you know it is very important that together with the, the importance celebrating the importance of the food security, it is also important to emphasize upon the people the need for you know minimizing the food waste. As you, you rightly said, that six percent of the food waste all over the globe generates you know lot of greenhouse uh, gases, 6% of the 6%. greenhouse gases mm -hmm. and uh, that is the primary driver for the climate change. Now, in order to minimize, I think, in my opinion, if I, if I look at it, the, I think we will have to use the technology both in the production as well as distribution. I think there are some, even, even at the global level, if you look at, there are certain areas where the people are facing the hunger and there are certain areas where the people have surplus. So I think it is very important that uh, we use the technology in order to optimize the production also 
and also optimize the distribution of the of the food. These days we talk a lot about uh, let's say disruptive technologies. We talk about uh, what's called as Industry 4.0. You know of which um, AI and ML and IoT, 3D printing, etc. You know they, that 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 form the core of that technology. So I personally feel that, uh, for example, if you look at our perishable items mm -hmm. in particular, yes. for example, if you look at apricot, cherry, plum, peach, you know, their shelf life is very, very limited. Now, uh, if, you, if you talk specifically about, let's say, AI, uh, AI is, uh, you know, become machine dependent, right? So uh, uh, you have to sort of input uh, whatever, you know, uh, products you have, and then it will come up with a modeling that uh, you know this is going to be the shelf life under ideal conditions. This is going to be the shelf life, and uh, so that you can you know go reactively you know try to dispose it as quickly as possible. Then uh, you know we have other technology like RFID, you know tracking using uh, GPS, GIS kind of technologies, which would actually follow your entire chain to see where you know these things have been. You have to have focus on two things. One is that uh, uh, its shelf life increases, right? That's the first thing. Second is when it reaches the consumer, you know, it is free of uh, you know sort of pathogens, what you call it, which actually would destroy this thing, uh, which is very important from the safety point of view. I believe more of that, more of technology, it is uh, the consciousness and the awareness which uh, you know needs to be created among general masses. So that whatever we produce, you know, does not get actually wasted, and there's a proper, you know, chain, you know, food chain. What do you, what do you say? It's from farm to the kitchen, you know, that kind of a chain is properly set up, uh, so that uh, you know things don't get wasted. Well, this time, the issue that we always have is that we don't have enough food. What do you think about this? If you see that on an average, our world is 200 million people. जिनको ये नहीं पता होता कि हम शाम को खाना मिले अब अगर आप देखें लॉस जो फूड लॉस की अगर आप आ, एक तो होता है जो पोस्ट जब आप प्रिपेयर करते हैं खाना उस टाइप का लॉस की उस टाइप की लॉस कर रहे हैं या एक होता है जब आप हार्वेस्टिंग करते हैं दो वहाँ पे भी लॉस हो रहा है और जब हम जब वन सिट्स ऑन प्लेटर हमारे टेबल पर वहाँ भी लॉस होता है तो दोनों जगह पर इंटरवेंशन की बहुत ज़्यादा जरूरत है और मेरे हिसाब से दोनों इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंट है लेकिन अगर हम जो हमारी कंट्री है जहाँ पीछे से पॉपुलेशन वन पॉइंट फोर बिलियन और ग्लोबली अगर देखा जाए तो अगर हम यहाँ पे पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉस जो हमारे अगर हम किसी तरह से उसमें सिर्फ जो 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 डेटा उभर के आ रहा है जो हम देख रहे हैं अगर उसमें सिर्फ इस साल का हम टारगेट रखें कि पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉस हमारा सिर्फ टेन परसेंट कम हो जो भी हमारा उसमें सिर्फ टेन परसेंट कमी कर पाए तो मेरा ये मानना है कम से कम हम पचास मिलियन लोगों को और खाना दे सकते सर वर्ल्ड फूड डे आ रहा है सिक्सटीन ऑफ अक्टूबर को और एज अ फूड टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट फूड वेस्टेज को लेकर आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे कि कैसे प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं सो ऑन दिस अस्पेशियस ओकेजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फूड डे दैट इज गोइंग टू बी सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड थीम टू दिस ईयर्स थीम ऑफ वर्ल्ड फूड डे इज द मिटिकेशन और रिडक्शन ऑफ द फूड वेस्ट so the there is a huge quantity of waste produced from the different industries whether it is fruit and vegetable industry whether it is dairy industry whether it is meat and meat processing industries so we have to meet different mitigation policies we will be going to implement we need to adopt in order to reduce the waste production from these industries for instance in case of the fruit and vegetable industries lot of Uh, in juice uh, juice industry lot of pomace is produced that pomace can be utilized in the development of value added different value added products for instance apple pomace in case of the apple pomace apple pomace can serve as a very good source of the dietary fiber that that uh, this apple pomace which is produced from the fruit and vegetable in the through uh, this fruits industry that can be dried and it will you can it can be converted into the powdered form and after that what 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 we can do we can just incorporate it into the different products whether in the bakery products so other products or in the in the fruit juice beverages where they can act as a source of the dietary fiber मैं आपको बताऊं कि रिसेंटली वही हैव रिसीव्ड अ फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम द फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया 
जिसमें हमें दिस इज वन ऑफ द कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम दैट हाउ टू टैकल द फूड वेस्ट Uh, for that uh, kind of an issue, I will tell you that we have to rope in the NGOs. Unless and until people from the private sector will come forward, for a government agency to tackle this issue is a difficult uh, problem. We cannot uh, tackle this issue at our own end. But uh, in that uh, flagship program, we have been given the task to coordinate with these NGOs, so that uh, the food which is wasted, how we can reduce the wastage. That is the uh, one of the components of that flagship program. So, usme that is a uh, recent program we are working on it. Uh, how we will be able to rope in the uh, agencies, uh, the NGOs who will help us in reducing the food waste. Uh, if we we'll, uh, talk uh, about our own Kashmir division, you people might be knowing that in uh, uh, weddings, huge quantity of uh, food gets wasted. We have to also see how that food can reach to the needy. For that also, we are uh, uh, talking uh, with these. We are in, in communication with these NGOs, and uh, we will also see how we will be able to tackle that issue also. By reducing food wastage, it's possible to cut down greenhouse emission, slow the destruction of nature through land conversion and pollution. It enhances the availability of food and thus reduce hunger and save money at a time when there is a global pandemic and recession. 690 million people were affected by hunger in 2019 alone an estimate that is expected to rise sharply due to covid-19 pandemic around 3 billion people were unable to afford a healthy diet we need to reduce food waste at home according to food and agriculture organization of the united nations nearly 40% of the food produced in india is wasted every year due to fragmented food how much food waste is generated here on daily basis and what are your measures to control it waste hota hai hamare kitchen mein hota hai उसमें हमारी कोशिश रहती है कि जो हमारा एवरेज रिक्वायरमेंट होती है डे की हम बस वही बना के रखें उससे ज्यादा नहीं बनाते हैं सो दैट एट द द एंड ऑफ डे हमें कोई चीज फेंकनी ना पड़े अ डेवलप्ड वर्ल्ड मेंटालिटी इज ग्राउंडेड इन अबंडेंस वी एक्सपेक्ट लार्ज क्वांटिटी ऑफ परफेक्ट फूड इन ग्रेट वेराइटी ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर बेसिस फूड इज एक्सक्लूसिवली इन एक्सपेंसिव इजी टू गेट एंड इजी टू डिस्पोज ऑफ वेन यू पुट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स टूगेदर इट लीड्स टू अलॉट ऑफ वेस्ट Strong sense of judiciousness in how we consume our food is a logical step to proceed. It is not the leftovers that are wasteful, but those who either don't know what to do with it or cannot be bothered. Some of the ways to tackle the food wastage problem is adopting shelf-life extension technologies by allowing perishable foods to last longer at the consumption stage. For example, using edible coating sprays for fruits such as apples. Upcycling is another way to tackle the issue of food wastage. Another way to reduce food wastage is adapting better preservation techniques. Data-driven insights using artificial intelligence is required during ordering process, which would limit overbuying and food waste. At the end, we conclude by saying, our, our actions, actions are our future, future. and we should grow, grow nourish, nourish, and sustain, sustain together. together.